Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. You're coming right in to see these guys. These are the first flame-based enemies you see in the painted world. And they hit hard. They have pyromancy, they hit really hard. And then, of course, there's one other thing you have to be aware of. Oh, come on, dude. Oh, come on. Aside from the fact that they will totally combo your ass into the ground, you have to be aware that after you kill them, they toxic you. <sighs> now, there is a way to avoid that. Do I have anything that cleanses toxic right now? I don't think I do. Blooming purple moss clump, good. Okay, so there is a way to prevent them from doing that, and what you do is kill them with fire. Or ranged attacks. I mean, ranged attacks, you also won't be in the range of their little toxic cloud. Oh, come on, dude. See how quickly he casts that and just staggers the crap out of me? There's like nothing I can do there. We want to. Ah, of course. And now, right here. Eat it. And one more. Oh, he's gonna hit me again. I just want to get the second fireball off, dude. Can you stop? There. There. So see, now they don't shoot that stupid toxic cloud up in there. So, flame-based weapons are your best bet there. I don't think I have a single flame-based weapon right now. And I should have... Yeah, I should have set one up. That was a bad, bad choice by me. I don't think there's much I can do here. Except for take it. And hope that I don't take too much damage. Yeah, I don't have any fire swords. Oh, Dark Souls 2. Give me your fire long sword off the bat, please. <laughs> oh, hello. This place is not easy. Um, these guys are very aggressive, and they will get that first hit off if you let them. It's like every single time it's happened to me now. Alright, so as soon as I pick this up, we're gonna get two jerks. These little bird guys swoop, swooping down on me. Hello. These guys have a ton of hit points, dude. Tons of hit points. And they have an attack where they'll jump up, and if they land on you, they do a bunch of damage. But they do have a tendency of dropping off ledges. So that's helpful. They kill themselves more often than not. So there's actually two kind of semi-bosses. Well, there's one semi-boss, and then there's the major boss, Priscilla. Uh, the, the, the minor boss is uh, Undead Dragon, like the one that I ran by in the Valley of the Drakes. He's not too bad. Fairly easy to actually beat. There's a few tricks you can use. There's one that you can do as a spellcaster, you know, non-melee guy. And there's one you can do as a caster. Ranged bowman. Just saving my pyromancy for these guys because I really don't want to get toxic. I have the burn or the blooming lost clumps, but I just don't feel like using them. Oh, hello. There's another guy apparently. Oh, there he is. There's the other other one too. Hello. <laughs> ah, stop taking hits. Did you just try to punch me? Don't do that. I was still gonna take two fireballs anyway. I screwed up and didn't hit him hard enough because I wasn't using my weapon two-handed. Whatever. God, I hate this place. It's cool, but man, some of the mobs. I always forget that there's these toxic guys until I get here, and then I remember and I'm like, God, why? Why didn't I? Oh shit. Why didn't I prepare properly? There we go. So right there, I actually forgot that I have to press B to jump. I did it. I knew I was going to do it eventually. Oh, shit. 
I knew I was going to do it eventually, and it just happened, so. Oh no, what am I doing? Oh well, whatever. Just go around and get the items over here. Item. Item over here. Sorry. Now this is the area... Now we want to jump across the area. Up next is the undead dragon that I was talking about. The mini boss. I'm trying to like speed run up the ladder like you do in Dark Souls 2. I, ah man, all the controls and little things that they added there make the game so great. If you haven't played it yet, for whatever reason, you should play it. The Egg Vermifuge, that's, um, they're helpful items to help you get rid of parasites. Uh, if you ever get invaded by a hacker, one of the favorite things they love to do is infect you with a parasite. It'll uh, cause your head to turn into an egg, and then eventually your head... Oh, there we go. So see how he just moved? He's not dead. He's lying to us. Come on, buddy. So there's a few ways to fight this guy. Since I'm melee, I'm going to be using the melee method. Um, pretty much what you're going to do is get him to do his breath attack by staying far away. And then you're going to run in as he's doing it. So there he goes, he's doing it. Now I'm going to run in. And I'm going to attack his foot. Get a few hits in, then back off. Oh wait, he's going to do one more. So now he's going to turn over and he's going to do it over on this side. And he'll fill that little, little cavern up. So I'm just going to wait. Oh, hello. I like how he attacked the bird. Come here, bird. Ah, shit. Ow. Anyway, I wasn't expecting the bird. My bad. So now that he's doing this, I'm just gonna... Oh, wait. So you just alternate like this. Just keep going back and forth. Hit them mitts. Every now and then he gets angry. Who cares? He's angry. Nobody cares. And all in all, he's a fairly easy boss to kill. Up. Oh. I need to finish him off here. I was trapped there and he was about to do a, a swing. So that's it. That's the little undead guy. And I believe you can actually get out of the painted world of Ariamis right here if you just walk all the way back and jump off. No, wait. Right? Yeah, you have to get rid of this dragon like the rest of his body here, but yeah. Sometimes it doesn't go away. But you can get rid of it like that. And then you can jump off and get out. Right? I feel like you can. I might be wrong. I don't know. I'm not going to do it for obvious reasons. I don't feel like dying, so. Oh. So now we just have to make our way through the rest of the area, and we go after Priscilla. Priscilla's not too bad. She's... She is one of the tougher bosses. She has some mechanics that are kind of difficult to deal with, especially if you don't know her attack patterns. Um, and her scythe. Oh man, her scythe does so much damage. Did I mention how much I hate these stupid birds? They're not tough, but man, they have a lot of hit points. 
I'm just going to come all the way to the top because there is an item up here that I want. Well, there's just an item up here. Red sign, soapstone. That item lets you put down a red sign and lets you invade other people's worlds. Probably not super useful now that Dark Souls 2 is out because nobody's really... As far as I know, there isn't a ton of people playing Dark Souls 1 anymore. Which, I'm... I mean, I'm not a purist. I'm okay with that. I think that Dark Souls 2 is a great game. So now that I've cleared out that tower, I'm just going to keep going off to the left here. Yes, yes, this is the way to go. This will take you down to the bottom level of that tower. And all those birds that you probably had jumped down, they're all going to be down here waiting for you. Like some kind of shitty surprise party. These guys aren't hard to kill. You just have to avoid that jump down attack because that will hurt you a lot. That's one of those that locks you in to multiple hits and you have to sit there and alternate the triggers back and forth to break earlier or else you'll take more damage. Just something to keep in mind if it happens to catch you. These guys are interesting. They're hard to kill. Like, they don't have a lot of hit points individually, but they're all wielding shields and spears, which makes them, you know, tough to kill because they have a long reach. And they hit you really hard. So you just want to run by them and open this door here. This, this door actually opens back to the bonfire that you were at earlier. So there's the bonfire. And now you have a shortcut straight to the end. So right off to the right here, this is where the guy um, invades the NPC. So we're just going to draw out that invasion. Ow! And try not to die. I'm going to die. I'm going to die. I'm died. Damn it. That's it. That's the end of the episode. I like to break it up with my deaths. And I died. So next time we're going to come over and we're going to try to kill this guy. His name is Xanthus. And he has one of the most interesting cloth armor sets in the game. It's, it's one of my favorites. Big old hat. You'll see. You'll see when it happens.